When it comes to your online security, you need to be taking it very, very seriously. And that's the reason why today I'm going to be talking about something that you should definitely not be neglecting. And that's when you get a message like this from Google. Critical security issues found. And there's a big red take action button right below it. You should definitely click on this button. So when you click on this button, you get to a page that has a little bit more information about what's going on. Change three compromised passwords. So now let me talk a little bit about what's going on here. So um, when you sign on to websites like Google and Facebook, you know, these are very reliable website with a lot of um, money and know-how, technical know-how to be able to protect um, their subscribers online, you know, and keep their data safe, trade it in some cases. Sometimes we sign on to um, startup websites, you know, smaller websites that don't really have the um, the money and the technical ability to be able to secure your their, their users, yeah? And hackers find these sites very, very inviting because it's easy to get into. And then once they breach these websites, they get a bunch of email and passwords that have been used to subscribe onto those websites. But where the problem lies is a lot of us have this habit of signing onto websites with the same email and password, myself included. You know, and the, because there's so many websites that you sign on to, how many passwords can you remember? Yeah. So you just take the easy route of just using the same password and email over and over and over again. And what happens is when these data breaches occur on smaller websites and the email and password you use to sign on to that website is the same login details for your actual email account. These hackers take all of this information that they've gotten and then start to use it to try to sign into these people's emails. And once they have access to your email, they have access to your everything. Like all of your online property is just at their mercy. You know, they can go to your Facebook and PayPal, as many websites as, as you've joined with that particular email. So that's where the real problem is. And that's the reason why you need to be taking this seriously. So we need to go to the next step from here now. So go to password checkup to see the actual um, sites where you have these issues. Uh, it's going to prompt you to log into your Gmail. I'm going to do that real quickly now. Okay, so we're in. This is a website that I've not used for a very, very long time. Anyways, so these are the websites that have issues. And what I need to do now is um, show you what to, how to resolve this problem. So first thing you need to do is go to the website where you have the issue and this is one of the websites this is um a betting website that i joined very very long time ago i think i was still in the university and i was just looking for ways to make money people really do make a lot of money betting and i had fun doing this i tried it for a couple of years but it's been a long time since i did this and i've just forgotten about this website yeah so what we're going to do is click on the lost login details and then provide the email of the account and then click on recover password. Of course, this is basic. I've done this already and I have gotten the email um, to reset my password. And I have also gone on to reset my password. And what you need to do now is come back to your password checkup and update your saved password. A lot of times people would do this and come back and refresh and inspect that automatically this problem has gone away and Google is now saying you're safe, but it's still showing that you have three compromised passwords. That's because you have to manually impute or update the saved password. So you click on update saved password. It's going to bring out your old, uh, your old details to that website that has been compromised. And then you simply change it and then click on save. And what happens now is you have two now because you've changed your password to that account. And this is something you need to do for all of the compromised passwords that you have. Uh, another tip is when there are websites like this that are flagged by Google on security breaches, chances are it's going to happen again. So if you want to be really drastic, you can go back to the website and completely just shut down the account and delete all of your details from there and not use the website anymore. Because I mean, who, who's to say it's not going to happen again if it happened once before. So that's one thing to think about. Another thing that I think is important is for us to try as much as possible to, to use different passwords uh, for different websites that we sign on to. But I shouldn't be preaching this because you can see I have 280 reused passwords and I have 209 accounts where I'm using very weak passwords but I'm going to tell you why I don't care this does not bother me there's a trick I use and that trick is my 
password to my email, all of my emails are very, very unique and very different. I try to just make sure that I don't reuse the password to my email on any other websites. All of the websites that I know are solid, I have a password that I can use to assess them and I can remember all the time. And then websites that are really, really important to me, like websites where my money are, like PayPal or stuff like that. I make sure that they are very unique. So the idea here is if there's a data breach to one of my my accounts, say on, on one of these um, websites, I'm sure that the password I'm using cannot be used to log into my e any of my emails because my email passwords are very unique. So if you want to reuse passwords, it's a good idea to make sure that you're not reusing the password that you're using for any of your email accounts. So that's my tip if you want to reuse passwords. Yeah, that's it on this video. So. I just wanted to do this video to show you that you need to update for this error to go away. If you don't update, click the update passwords, it will not go away. So take time and go through your, your, your Google account and just sort out all of these security issues so that you can stay a bit more safe online. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.